1997, a friend of mine told me about children who were being accepted by families to get them away from the radiation of Chernobyl, and I was kind of stunned. 摄影师保罗·马斯克原本出于好奇，决定前往车诺堡一探究竟。There's nothing going on in in that station anymore. They've reinforced it with steel and concrete to try to keep the radiation in it, but it keeps feeding groundwater under it with radiation. 令保罗更惊讶的是，他看到了各种扭曲的人体。I was looking at a different species of human being. What I was looking for photographically is what is life like for that person. 白俄罗斯的一处收容所里安置着从襁褓到青少年一群受辐射污染的畸形儿，场面令人心酸。之所以将这些照片公诸于世，保罗·法斯克是希望提醒世人，不要让这种悲剧一直在重蹈覆辙。At contact, when I first heard about Japan, it was a horrible feeling of hopelessness, and oh no, here we go again. 纪念车诺堡灾变二十五年，联合国秘书长潘基文二十六号带领联合国官员在纽约总部敲钟祈福。车诺堡为人类带来的震撼与遗憾，如果真能提醒世人继续教训，避免悲剧一再发生，那该有多好！《每日新闻》为您综合报道。